Okay, so we are now in the process of doing a clay, our finished clay plaster on the inside of our classroom here and at the park in Florida. And so I uh, decided to show you the process of how we're doing our clay plaster. Okay, so um, I'm using this, I'm using these bags of American clay, right? So this is American clay, it actually comes from uh, New Mexico. Um, it's really nice, it's, this is the Loma. Um, so what's really nice about this, you know, that's a nice amount of the clay and the sand and the mica uh, all mixed in together already. So it's kind of a pre-mix. And, uh, and then I just add the oxide. So for color, I'm adding this, this color here. It's called white earth, right? It's kind of a brown color, um, but it's actually coming out a really nice uh, tint in there, you'll see. And so, uh, so I just mix the clay with the water and uh, the oxide, and I just use my, my blender, you know, just kind of put that in there, mix it up. And, uh, and I'm also adding some chopped straw, right? So I put this chopped straw through a leaf shredder and chopped it up into small little pieces like this. And uh, so now we're pretty much, and I just put like a handful of it, just because the, the wall is not perfectly flat, so to fill in any kind of bumps, you know, the straw kind of helps to hold it and keeps it from cracking and things. So we'll go ahead and bring this in here. <clears throat> All right, so, yeah, so we did this, did this while we did this yesterday, and you see how it's drying. It's, it's really nice. It's a nice, uh, it's a very, it's a really pretty color, actually. It's really nice. Almost a light blue, a little bit of a gray, um, refreshing. So I just did this, and I'll just kind of show you the process of how I apply it. So you first want to get the, the wall just a little bit wet, right? So I'm just using this, this sprayer, and just kind of just getting a little bit wet. Not drenched, but just a little wet. And then, it's nice to have knee pads and gloves. So the way I'm doing it, I, I have kind of an injured thumb, so I'm just doing it a little bit differently than I normally do. I normally would use a hawk. I'll just show you here how, how often people will do it. They'll use like this, like get a hawk, and they'll put the plaster on this, and they'll just kind of scoop the plaster from this and do it this. But I have kind of an injured hand, so I'm just using my left hand. And uh, basically just taking some of the plaster, putting it right on the trowel, and then take it and just go up on it. And so I'm just going on about, about an eighth of an inch thick or so. And yeah, this plaster is, this feels really nice. It's really nice and creamy. This is about the texture you want. You don't want really, you want it to hold on to the trowel. You don't want it to you know, slip off. And uh, sometimes the parts below the sill, that's kind of hard to get to with the trowel. You can just use your hands. You can just use your hands and just go flat that way. Okay. And then, and then after you get that, then you can take the small. This is like a little Japanese trowel I have, and you can just kind of hover this over, just to get a, any excess off. Just get it nice and smooth. This feels really nice. So, so then I would just kind of let this sit, pretty much just like that for um, maybe about 20 minutes or so, just let it harden up some. And then after it's hardened, so like this part here, I've been letting this part harden. So you can see here. So then you can go at it with a sponge, kind of wrung, wrung out sponge, and just kind of go over it and then just kind of smooth out the ridges. And if there's any straw that's kind of sticking up, you know, you kind of compress it with a sponge, pretty much just like that. And then you can take the trowel, you know, your nice finished trowel, and just kind of smooth it out. 
Now you might want to go in a couple different directions. So you see how nice and smooth that comes out. And, um, yeah, and so you can go two coats. We're going one coat on this because I think, I think we can do it in one coat. I don't think we actually do need, need to do it in two coats. And it's turning out really nice. So, uh, yeah, so that's basically it. And then, um, so I'm hoping we can finish plastering all this. And uh, we have this back wall here to do here. And then we'll be pretty much done with the inside. Then we can start, actually tomorrow I might start putting some of the wood, uh, we're gonna do wood trim around these windows. So we can start, we can start putting that in. And, uh, and then we'll start plastering the other one. All right, so, uh, and actually we might, yeah, I'll probably plaster the other one and then, then we can start plastering the outside. We'll be doing a lime plaster on the outside of these. Right, so the plaster we'll be using, I get this lime plaster here, you know, this pure natural hydraulic lime used since 30 BC, right, what the Romans were using. So that's what we'll be using on the plaster on the outside. And then we'll be uh, doing our uh, clay plaster on the inside. And you can see our door we've got, so we'll be putting that in soon too. And then we'll be arching, arching this doorway out, of course. So, um, so that's pretty much where we are at now in our classroom built here at the park.